Welcome Leos, I'm back again for another video. This is going to be a video for the remainder of December. So December 23rd, 24th um, to the 31st, okay? So it's a general read. So you can take what applies and leave what does not, okay? We're not going to try to make it fit. What applies is what's up, what doesn't, let it go over your head, all right? If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and consider clicking the subscribe button for future content as well, guys. Make sure that you are uh, clicking the bell so you'll get the notifications, okay? So let's talk, Leos. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. All right, Leos. Um... Give me a message for my Leos, please. For the remainder of December. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to go into a new year. Fresh new energy. Let's see what we got coming in for my Leos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, please. And keep in mind, guys, these are general reads, okay? General reads. For my Leos, please. What message is there for the remainder of December for Leos? Thank you. Okay, we got the Four of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, as well as the High Priestess, okay? So, some of you may feel uh, disappointed or you aren't sure... Um, you're uncertain about something. It's something that's just leaving a bad taste in your mouth. The High Priestess, Pisces, Cancer Energy, Hermit, Virgo's Energy as well, too. Some of you feel isolated or sad here. Okay. Let's see what, what's going on. There's delays, so you're upset because there's some type of delay, okay, with the hangman here. There could be some type of delay. You're waiting for some type some type of something here. It could most definitely be like a nice gesture or finances or money. Lots of pentacles here, okay? Lots of pentacles here. Maybe you're trying to hold on to your money, okay? You know, it's holiday time, so people, you know, a lot of times overspend. Maybe you're trying to hold on to your money. Okay, so there's some type of delays here. Why is the four of pentacles here? Oh, six of swords. You're holding on to something that you need to let go of. You're holding on to something. Okay, I'm getting a lot of tears. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords. This is a lot of worry and stress that Ace of Cups makes me feel like these are emotions and feelings. Um, I'm getting some type of final decision was made. We got the Magician and the Judgment. And I feel like you're crying over, you're, you're hurt about this. It's, you feel um, rejected or left out in the cold. Okay, let's see. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Star. Yeah, see, you've lost faith in a situation. Okay, we got the Devil and the Eight of Cups. Maybe you were holding on to something... Um, that very much so you definitely needed to let go of. Okay, yeah, see, we got the Eight of Swords. I'm not sure if you were feeling stuck in a situation, uh, but you're trying to get away from something and something's holding you back. 
feel like you're trying to get out of a situation, but it's it's like it just keeps calling you, holding you back. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords is a trip, possibly going out of town. Or someone that is at a distance. It could be family here with this Ten of Pentacles here. Could be going to visit family or you were considering visiting family. The Knight of Swords. Whew. The Eight of Wands is fast movement as well too. Um... There we go, the sun. I'm getting like, you feel like something's holding you back from your joy. So you feel like something's, like you're being robbed of your, your fun, joy, uh, positive vibes. Yeah. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay, you need to give a situation closure. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Fool. Okay, maybe you've been waiting to take some type of leap of faith, or you're waiting for someone to take some type of leap of faith. Um, but there's a chapter here that needs to be closed. Why is the world here? The fool, yeah, so you can start fresh. So you can start fresh. You just got some shocking news here with the tower and the knight of cups. You're surprised by some type of news that just came in, okay? Lots of ten of wands here, past energy. You were feeling very burdened, burdened by a situation. Yeah, there's that four of cups again. There's a lot of disappointments. Um, a big. I'm getting like something being very disappointing. Something that's been weighing on you. Um, has you know it's just leaving you feeling really disappointed. Okay, that's the four of cups. The tower. Yeah, something fell apart. Something here fell apart. What fell apart? What's the tower here? The King of Cups and the Justice. It could have been a relationship. It could have been a friendship. It could have been... Um, It could have been anything. But I'm getting like you're sad. Okay, because we got the three of swords here for future energy. Oh, but that two of swords here. Don't tell me that this is a third party situation. Why is the two of swords and the three of swords here? Here. We got the devil and the five of swords. Like I'm just getting, could be dealing with the Capricorn, but I'm just getting like this real um, bad lingering energy here. Um, you're waiting anxiously. You're waiting anxiously for something. Something here. It's like you're waiting for something here. Anxiously you're waiting. What's the nine of swords here? Okay, you're waiting anxiously to see what someone is going to say. If they regret something that they did. Why is the page of swords here? The judgment, yeah. 
Final decision, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved. Why is the judgment here? Ace of Cups. Some of you got like this old lingering energy from the past still lingering around while you're trying to uh, meet someone new or do something new. You knew that this person was going to come back towards you or be defensive. Why is the hard thing here? See, this other person is telling you that they changed. Um, they regret what they did. And they're sorry that things didn't work. I feel like someone here could have possibly had you in the third party. I got the strength card, which is you guys' energy. The queen of cups and the king of pentacles keep popping out. So there's definitely like a Virgo Taurus Capricorn male here. And then we got the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, female. Then we got you guys' energy, which is, which is the strength card. And then we got the moon here. So there's some type of secrets, okay? There's some type of something that was hidden, okay? There could have possibly been a marriage here, okay? Somebody here is trying to balance out their home life or their stability. The Empress is the outcome. Let's see. Why is the Empress here? The devil. Wow. Maybe you're tired of being looked at as the bad person. Um, and... There's a lot of drama tied into this situation. And the Empress and the Devil definitely, like, that's <laughs> kind of like a bad girl. Bad girl type image. So maybe you're getting the blame for something. You're being blamed for something here. Okay, so what's the Five of Swords? Five of Swords just jumped out. There's definitely some conflict here or you're in the middle of something here. A situation that does not look good at all. That doesn't look good at all. Okay. Six of Wands. This is finding victory in the situation. This is also getting attention. Yeah, like I'm getting I'm hearing everybody got something to say. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Of different, uh, lots of seven of cups here. There's that queen of cups again, and the two of pentacles. Somebody was juggling here, somebody was juggling here, and I feel like the truth has already came out or is getting ready to come out that somebody here is juggling three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody here is juggling three people, two or more people. I feel like you regret letting your guard down. Okay, I feel like some of y'all let y'all guard down. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, well, just there's the Empress. Okay, there's the third party. Okay, this could be um, a wife. We know the Empress is very yes. And see, someone got left out in the cold. Someone ended up getting left out in the cold. There's that King of Pentacles. He's showing himself again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yep, and I'm, I'm just getting like you, were let, you regret letting your guard down. Possibly towards this. There's that Hermit again. Towards this. Uh, maybe this person was portraying themselves. I'm getting Capricorn. Portraying themselves as they were single. They were doing things, you know, that were just single. Um, and you found out the truth afterwards or some type of, some type of reality hit. Yeah, and see, now there's issues, yeah. See, now there are issues. Yeah, there's definitely someone getting played on. 
with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This is somebody who is like a booty call. Okay. Somebody call someone when call someone when they want sex. Okay. And this is definitely could have something to do with someone from your past. And you feel betrayed by this person. You feel betrayed by this person, but I still feel like you hold on to this person. You hold on to the situation or you hold on to this person. So that could be the thing that you need to let go of. Let's see. We're going to use the Kipper deck. What is this other person's intentions towards my Leos, please? Occupation, privileged lady, main male and gift. We got somebody, a male here or a privileged lady here. Somebody works or has a really good, really good uh, job or occupation. Someone here is expecting some type of gift. Distant horizons. Yeah. See, this person, this main male, is looking for some type of gift. Okay, some type of gift of money or something to that nature. Somebody's coming around for some type of handout or a gift. They could be reaching out to you. Yeah, this is a man. It's a male. And it's coming from, he's having concerns about money. Okay. And the child could be involved. Okay. They're thinking that you will feel sorry for them. Okay. Because they're going through some type of despair moment. They're looking for some type of attention um, because of their financial situation they're looking at you as a privileged person they're looking at you like you have everything together and got it all so you can assist them in some type of uh despair that they're going through okay make sure you stay mindful of that okay so What additional messages are there for Leo for the remainder of December? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we got King of Fire. You guys, it's energy at the bottom here. King of Earth. He's revealing himself again. And the Two of Water, okay? So there is definitely like some type of bond or connection that you could have. Um... The two of water, renewal, and the nine of earth. Somebody here is trying to renew a relationship, a bond, or a connection with you. Why is the two of water here? Ten of, I'll say, sorry, seven of air. <sighs> Somebody is a liar, though. And sneaky, and they think they're slick too. This person could definitely be married. They're kind of trying to get attention. Okay, they're trying to shift the attention onto them. Um, I wouldn't trust this person. Could be, yeah. See, we got awakening. There's something that you need to wake up to. That this person is a player, night of fire. This person is a player, and there's that four of water. You're going to end up being disappointed, I feel like, if you renew this situation with this person. Okay, I feel like you should I feel like you should carry your queen of air energy into this situation. Being, you know, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, and being independent and experienced. Okay, if you've experienced a bad situation with this person just recently, I don't feel like this person is has learned anything okay I, I don't feel like i just don't see it i just don't see it now we got renewal 
life experience. I feel like you should take this situation as a life experience. Um, this person does have options. I'm telling you. Realize and wake up to the fact that this person has options. They flirt a lot. They flirt a lot. They flirt a lot. And there we go with that queen. I'm getting picking up on Libras, a Libra's energy. I'm picking up on a Libra. Okay. Nine of Earth. This is when you're focused on yourself. You're bad. You in your bag. You're good financially. You're doing well for yourself. Like, don't let nobody take that from you. Okay. We got the nine of earth. Three of water. Yes. Yeah, celebrating you. Celebrating self-love. Self-care. The will. See, things are turning in your favor. I feel like you already know that if you if you renew this situation, you're going to regret it later on. Okay, but I still feel like you still have some type of hope for the situation. But we got the sun here. Yeah, go out and have some fun. Yeah, the empress. There could be a pregnancy here. But go out and have some fun. Go out and have some fun. Some, I feel like you don't want to be by yourself or alone. Because maybe you think too much. Um, and... When you're alone, maybe you, you, you know, go into a depressive energy or something like that. But the thing of it is, is don't let that. Here's this king of earth and king of fire. Don't let this uh, get you into a situation that you'll end up regretting later. Okay. Yeah. If there's a renewal, somebody trying to return from the past, like I give it a I give it a break. <laughs> I would definitely like not even waste my time. Okay. Let's look at the romance angels. And let's see how your person feels about you. And then let's see what how you feel about them. Well, we're going to see how you feel about them first. How does Leo feel about their person? Okay, you want to heal uh, some family issues. You do. You want to be romantically involved with them. You got passion. And you're calling them in. Like, you're calling them in. You want to give this situation a chance. You're still open to it. Okay, so how do they uh, feel about... Okay, we got very soon and trust. Yeah, see, they're, they're over here re possibly reconciling with an ex. Or this is them wanting to reconcile with you very soon. Come back together with you soon. But there are an uh, issue of trust, okay, and expressing uh, themselves. Yeah. Yeah, see, you you still have a bond or connection to this person. You want you would actually forgive. I feel like a lot of you would forgive this person, um, and want to heal the situation, make up sex and all of that. Um, but we are very soon in trust and express your love. So, I want to see what uh, why is very soon here. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords. I'm telling you, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn keeps coming out. And I'm telling you, this person is sneaky. They're a liar. They're manipulative. <laughs> They're narcissistic. I'm telling you, like, mm-mm. Yeah, they may be coming around telling you that they want to work on their relationship. They want to work on their bond, their connection with you. And that they're done with their past. They're done with the past. There's that four of cups again. Okay. 
They may come to you with a sad face, acting like they're depressed. You know, like, mm, I don't know. Let's see what action you guys should take. Because I'm just getting a feeling like I don't, I just, I don't, I feel like this person is a creep and a liar and manipulative. telling you don't respond back to don't respond first don't reach out first don't do anything first okay don't make any movements towards them first just don't do it just if you're going to deal with this situation just have fun okay and i feel like some of you this person made you wait a long time before they reached out just gonna like have fun with the situation because like it's like what they're gonna feed off of what you do first so if you just Give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. Okay, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just, um, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't really like it. I don't. Romance wanted to jump out. What additional messages? What advice do you have for my Leos, please? What advice is there? We got within the next few weeks. Communicate clearly. The situation will improve. One more. And reconsider wanting to jump out too. We got no. And it's not just no, but it has an exclamation point. Okay. Like I'm just getting that. Like, and look at this, what's on the bottom of the deck. Let the situation go. I'm just getting that. Like, I'm just getting that this person, this is their energy. Like, they're there for the moment, and then they're gone. And don't reach out to them first. <laughs> like, literally, clearly, like, don't reach out at all to me. But within the next few weeks, what, what do we got coming? There will be disagreements. There will be arguments. And there will be secrets. Okay? And then you're going to end up in this energy right here. Communicate clearly. The Empress. Okay. There is a third party. There is a third person in this situation. The Empress and the Three of Cups. There's definitely a third party. Okay. This person may tell you this. Let me tell you this. We got the situation will improve. Two of Pentacles. There we go. There's that juggling act. That juggling act. Seven of swords. I'm telling you, this person. We got the devil. Could be a Capricorn. This person keeps coming out. This person is hell on wheels with playing with people's emotions. Okay? Like, he's going to take advantage of your emotions. Going to take advantage of your kindness and use this as... They're looking at that as a weakness. Okay? And why is no here with the exclamation? Look at this. The world. Close this chapter. Close it. Close it. Somebody here is married. Okay. Somebody here could definitely, this person could be married. Okay. And they just sleep around and cheat. And they're sleazy. They are sleazy. I feel like five of cups, you're going to regret it if you hold on to this person, waiting around to see what this person is going to do or how this person is going to come towards you. They're going to bring you drama. Okay. This person may love what you can do for them, okay? Keep that in mind, too. But I feel like intuitively you know that already. I feel like you know that already. You're just sitting around waiting. The situation is in the air. But no, I don't feel like this person deserves you. I don't feel like they deserve <laughs> I don't feel like they deserve you. Let's see what they're going to say when they come around. What does this person want to say to Leo? I feel so much love for you. 
So they're going to come towards you with this lovey-dovey shit. We got, um, I'm focused on work. My head isn't clear enough to make a decision. See, they, they don't know exactly what it is that they want. It's like, I feel so much love for you, but hey, again, I'm focused on work. Oh, but my head isn't clear enough to make a decision. Like, who wants to hear that BS? This is not even a straightforward. Let's take it slowly, please. See, this person, this person doesn't know exactly what they want. Like, they don't know. They're in a dark place, okay? They're in a dark place anyway. They're going to drag you down there, too. Then it's going to turn into, why won't you give me space? La, da, 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 da. My head, I can't get my thoughts together. I need space. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -mm, no, <laughs> this ain't it, y'all. This ain't it. You deserve better. Okay. All right. So I hope this reading was helpful. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, all that information is going to be in the drop box below. As well, if you want to check out the website, there is still a few things there on the website. I'm getting ready to restock. Um, so you can check out that the website as well. The information is in the drop box below. If you are new to my channel, guys, go ahead and click that bell. You don't want to miss out on future videos. All right. Until next time. Ciao for now.